Hello and welcome to Yaogwai Gaming where we are playing the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim and we're back in Whiterun. Last episode we were all the way up here in the Sightless Pit and to get home we had to walk to Dawnstar, catch a boat from Dawnstar to Windhelm and then catch a carriage from Windhelm back to Whiterun. So that was quite a trek. Today we are going to be completing the quest Missing in Action which is all about Thorold and the relationship between two of Whiterun's big families, Old the Greymanes and the Battleborns. Battleborn. So, for example, this guy's a Battleborn. The next man, but I'm no fool. I don't live in the past like those grey maids. So we can ask what the argument is all about. We Watch can talk to them up. about the differences. And here's another Battleborn. Grey Mane or Battleborn? And we'll just tell him Battleborn. Then I makes him happy. Well met, friend. I can tell you were a sharp one the moment I laid eyes on you. All right. Long live the Empire. Yep, yeah, sure. <laughs> Long live the, uh, the Dominion. <laughs> I mean, look, look at me. Long live the Dominion. Right, let's go and meet the Greymanes. Welcome to our home. Ah, welcome. What's the meaning of this? Oh, Who have you nod with an axe. Hello. First time, put that down. Do we he's need to bop to the nod with an axe? How do we know he's not spying for the Battleborn? This was foolish. We can't trust anyone. Who knows what they'll do if they find me here? I mean, I can't take any more of this. I'm gonna shove this axe up your ass if you don't put that away. All right, mother. Good boy. So, you're here to help. I mean, I have no idea what's going on. My brother Thorald. He was fighting for the Stormcloaks and went missing. Everyone assumes he's dead. But he's not. I just know it. The Imperials captured him, and they're holding him someplace. The Battleborns know where. I'd go and search their house for proof, but they want me to. I'd be captured, and then we'll never know what happened to him. So I need someone to find that proof for me. Right, so in the space of two seconds, you've gone from... Uh trying to embed your axe in my face to will you please help me. Right, what sort of proof would you even need? Anything that confirms that Thorald isn't dead, but is being held captive. I know those Battleborns have it. They'd be hiding it, of course. Wouldn't want it to get out that they've been lying this whole time. But you might be able to butter them up enough to lower their guard. Alright, and why do you even think the Battleborns are involved? The Battleborns. The Emperor's biggest bootlickers here in Whiterun. Their connections to the Empire and the Legion are well known. When Thorald didn't return home, there was no question in my mind. They knew Thorald supported the Stormcloaks, knew he was gonna aid them in battle, made sure he didn't come back. Locked him up someplace to get back at my family. I'm sure of it. Right, okay then, let's go and Stiff, search. You didn't mention to anyone that you saw me here. I mean, you'd be sneakier if you shut up and stopped waving the big axe around. Let's go and have a look inside the Battleborn's house. I think us telling that Battleborn in the legionary armor that we prefer the Battleborns to the Grey Mains makes him our friend, so we might be allowed to just wander in. Um, hello child. Oh god, the child looked at me. <laughs> okay. Right, let's get the quest item, and we'll grab any... Ooh, hello, we can take it, it's not theft, so we are friends with them, yeah. We'll grab any cooked food. We don't need ingredients, we've got tons of ingredients, but any cooked food we'll grab. Okay, and that seems to be about it. That's just out to white run. Come on then, Lydia, let's do some theft. Okay, so we have to break in this door here. Well, lockpick it. Hmm. Oh, for God's sake. I did a terrible job of that, didn't I? There we go. And here's the Imperial missive. So, it has come to my attention that inquiries have been made as to the whereabouts of one Thorold Greymane. It is my duty to inform you that the Thalmor agents have taken possession of the prisoner and have escorted him to Northwatch Keep. 
I don't think I need to elaborate. It is in everyone's best interests if the matter is dropped entirely. I trust there will be no further inquiries as to this matter. Okay, so that... Right, honestly, this seems to me like the Battleborns have checked where Thorold is. Like, they've tried to find out, and then they've found out he's with the Thalmor. So maybe they genuinely think it's better if... The Grey Mains just think he's dead. Because let's be honest, being with the Thalmor is not going to be nice. Alright, so we've got the quest objective. We can steal... Well, it's not stealing. They're, they're more than happy for us to take all their food. So we're going to take all the food that's in this place. And we're going to talk to this kid, because I think he actually has a quest for us. My friend Olava, the seer... She says things will get better for me, once I start sticking up for myself. Okay, are you having trouble, small child? Yes. Wraith bullies me all the time. All the elders think I'm a milk drinker because I can't fight. Nobody understands. If you can get Wraith to leave me alone, I'll be your best friend. Forever. I'll, I'll pay you too. My whole life savings. Two septums. And I thought this family was rich. Fine, I'll talk to the girl. Oh, good. She'll listen to you. I just know it. Alright. Alright then. I am, of course, going to go around your house and steal every bit of food that isn't nailed down. I hope that's okay, child. Uh, okay. Your whole life savings is two septims. There was five septims in a box over there, you idiot. My family thinks I'm a little milk drinker. I really don't understand why milk drinker is an insult. I've never managed to figure that particular bit of this out. That's a lot of salmon steaks. Grilled leeks, baked potatoes, nice. And some cheese. And mochi. Jesus Christ, what? how are this family not obese? Just, their bedroom's just full of pies and potatoes. I mean, I'm not knocking it, I'm just jealous. Wish my bedroom was full of pies and baked potatoes. A lot of grilled leeks. We can't take any of the potions. That's too much. They consider those to be too valuable for us to have. But cheese and more sweets. And more sweets. Honestly, at this point, I was expecting another pie. And then what's in the chest? Some gold. We'll have that. Alright, so... We gave like a one word answer to that dude and that's made us such good friends with him and his family that we've been able to raid his house of basically most of his nice food stuff. We can now return to the Grey Mains once we've picked these flowers and explain to them that their son isn't dead. He's just being held by the torture Nazi elves. I'm sure that'll cheer them up. What is the saying? A uh, fate worse than death. There's a rift here in Can't neither magic nor the passing of time. Okay, I don't care. Right, let's see. Right, so we found out where your brother is. Do you have news? Did you find something? Yes, I have found proof that Thorold lives. I knew it. Let me see, please. The Thalmor. By the Nine. It's worse than I thought. So, North Watch Keep, then we know where to hit him. You're going to assault North Watch Keep? I'll do anything if it means saving my brother. You'll join us, won't you? Thorald can't be left to those monsters. Um, look, how about, since you were hiding behind your mom and... when she told you to shut up and put your axe away, you did. How about maybe... Are I deal sure? with this. I doubt you stand a chance against the Thalmor. Mate, I don't don't I think you stand a chance against a, ready a rabbit. Notice. Many would be willing to help rescue my brother. Yeah, and they'd all die. No. I'll bring him back. Very well. I'll give you a chance. But if you can't do it. Oh, you'll I give will. me a chance, thank you. Genuinely, these are the most ungrateful people ever, right? Can I take some of your food? No. So I'm helping save their brother from the torture. Nazi elves. But he won't let me have any food. Like, I mean, come on, there are pro
priorities out there. With the other family, I just said, yeah, sure, I like you guys. You guys are cool. And that's it, I was best friends with them. Alright, so we're gonna have a kip. We're gonna have a nap um, for a few hours, and then in the morning, we're going to head over to Solitude and Northwatch Keep. So let's get up these stairs. I really don't like Breeze Home. It's very small and cramped. Right, let's sleep for 11 hours. That should be enough. Like, we know how bad the Thalmor are, because when you do the, the main quest, you see there they have a torture dungeon in the um, in the embassy, so we, we get to see how bad they are. They're awful to their prisoners. I mean, it's fairly appropriate for, like, the setting that we're, we're going for here, but still. Still, you know, it's not good. And we're like, yeah, sure, we'll go save him, we'll go rescue your... Uh, your brother, whatever, whatever you want, whatever it takes. And the response is, oh cool, no, 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 don't, don't take that potato. I like that potato. <sighs> Ungrateful, I tell you. Ungrateful. Right, so we're going to get on a carriage to Solitude now. And I think these are the last couple of quests that we have to do in Whiterun. After this, I think, ooh, where are all the Khajiit running off to? I think after this quest, that's it for Whiterun. There's just like a couple of little quests like helping Camilla with Michael the Bard and helping the child and stuff, but I, can take, where do you I think want that go? might be it. I want to go to Solitude. Climb and back and we'll be off. Thank you. First time to Solitude? A beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already... I did actually know that, yeah. All right, we're chilly. Um, we're a bit cold. Can we go into this guy's house to like heat up? Just really quickly, is that okay? You guys don't mind, do you? We just pop in here. And we're gonna stand by your fire and we're gonna wait for an hour. There we go, now we're nice and warm. Let's go. Oh God, what the hell? Nope. What happens if I wait another hour? Somebody help. Okay, so we have a dragon. Seems to be fighting the guards, maybe? Hopefully, like, I don't know. It's gonna destroy everything. It's gonna. Oh, God. Get out, get to cover. Um, elemental ball. And we missed. Alright, let's run up to the actual city, maybe. Oh god, we're hungry. Okay, uh, food. Nope. Who are these? Are these the Khajiit? Oh no, it's gonna kill the Khajiit if we're not careful. Careful, careful, careful. Alright, we're getting some hits on it there. Um, let's stick our ghost down as well, that might help. Alright, let's get out of the way. Oh, he's landed. Watch out for the tail attack. Yep, watch out for that tail. Alright, let's just try and stay out of the way, maybe. There might be enough guards here with our ghost to kill it. If it keeps landing here... Come on then, land again. There we go. Alright, if it keeps doing that, if it keeps landing here, I think we'll be fine. Um, let's... I don't want to shoot my... Elemental Bolt, because it's an area of effect attack. And I don't want to hit the Solitude cards. 
So are you shock? Right, let's get out of the way. I don't want it to try and blast us with its breath attack. No, oh, it's going for the guards. Oh god, what the heck? Oh, it's, it's, it's upside down, it's sideways. It's very glitchy. Um, right, we need another ghost. Let's wait for him to land and then we'll put another ghost on him. There we go. I like how the ghost is calling a dragon a pathetic mortal. <laughs> There's something uh, amusing about that. Alright. I was going to say we've halved its health, but I really don't think this is a team effort, is it? Um, healing hands. I want to make sure that the Khajiit are okay. Let's get in there. Are we all good? Oh! Oh, I mean, that's a lot of people wailing on it. Alright, let's get out and let's heal these Khajiit. I can't see the health, unfortunately, so I'm just having to hope that I am healing them a bit. Because I really don't want the Khajiit to die. I've basically turned into a support role. I'm an MMORPG healer now. Okay, um, I don't think there's any point us trying, to be honest. If we go in, we're gonna get killed. Let's do some sparks. Watch that tail. It's, it's getting there, it is dying! Like, look how many people are wailing on it, though. Again, watch the tail. Should we try and go for a hit? Oh, 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 there we go! This is our first random dragon that we've killed. Welcome to you. Oh, hello, Dragon Soul. That was a nightmare. Take the bones and the scales and the gold. And it's just uh, like casting healing on people. Okay. Hey Lydia, are you are you fully healed as well? You know I'm not a priest. <sighs> Never mind. Okay. Okay, we're gonna wait inside the stables if it's open until morning. If they'll let us. Because I don't like traveling in the dark. Alright. Oh, that was difficult. <laughs> is this about the stables? My husband Gaiman handles the business. Okay, no, this is actually about me just waiting here for 12 hours, if that's okay. Like, don't be offended. I'm not trespassing. I'm just going to stand here really quietly for a really long time. <laughs> got business at the stables? All right, there we go. You need to leave. Yeah, 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 I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Don't give me a fine. All right, it wants us to sleep. Waiting is doesn't actually work, but... No, we're fine. We're gonna we're gonna go travel to the um, Thalmor now. We'll we'll be fine. There'll be a bed there. We can have a nap during the middle of the battle. It'll be perfectly normal. And now look, it's a nice bright day for us to travel.
Okay, there's a dude there in armor with a weapon drawn. He's a thief, isn't he? I'm gonna guess. So let's try and summon our ghost. What do you want? Right. Hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. I mean, do I look like I've got any money? Yes. I'm not going to ask again. Um. All right. Don't I don't have time for this. Uh, go get him, ghost. Get him. <laughs> not a clever thief. Oh, sorry, ghost. There we go. Ooh, that's worth a lot, yeah. Mage's hood. Ah, it's not enchanted. Alright, uh, Lydia, I need you to carry some stuff for me. I've got your back. How can I serve you, my friend? She's nice, isn't she? She's a good one. She's a good egg. Right, uh, okay. Um, we're gonna give you the dragon stuff. God, they're expensive. And all this dwarven stuff that we're carrying around for some reason. And the scaled horn armor, and that'll do. All right, we're almost there now. We're actually getting quite close. Okay, so here we are at the Thalmor's fort. There seems to be like a dock or something behind it. I want to have a look around the area because we're cold. If we can find somewhere we could get warm or even sleep, that'd be really helpful. So we've got guards on this side as well. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, this is the the ferry over to Castle Volca here, isn't it? And we're not a vampire, so we can't go and get any sort of support from there. I don't think it'll even have anything anything warm for us, will it? I mean, should we just ferry over and see? It couldn't hurt, could it? We really do need a... Um, we really do need to warm up, basically. It's just that simple. We're cold. Oh, cool. So Castle Volker here, right. Uh, there's a tower. Does it have any place that's warm? Because we're going to get... Fr we're going to die of just cold soon. If we're not careful. Nope. And candlelight and stuff doesn't warm us up, does it? No, which is a shame. That'd have been really cool if it could. Uh, the castle, maybe. There must be some sort of like traveling supplies that I just haven't figured out yet. Because at the moment, this is just daft. We're just gonna die. Like we're we're actually gonna die here, just because of the cold. Oh look, fire! I see fire. Is it warmer here? Ooh, ooh, it's a bit warmer here. Yeah, okay, I don't care about trespassers. There we go! There we go, because we're, we're near enough to the braziers to get warm. Oh god, that is ridiculous. Okay, right, we're gonna travel back over to the fort now, and then we'll start our rescue mission. Alright, so, plan of action. Send Lydia in. Pretty much, that's it. That's the plan of action. We're going to send Lydia in and hope that she and the ghost can tank most of the enemies and we'll shoot at anyone on the walls with magic, hopefully. So, I, I need you, you to do something. Alright, what is it? What do you need? Oh no, it's not worth it. Still need me to do something? Yep. I need you to do something. All right. What is it? What do you need? Attack okay, that guard. All right, and then I'm gonna get the hell out of the way. Okay. Yeah, that's turned everyone aggressive. That's fine. And we'll send in the ghost. It's aggroed the archers. Okay. 
Who the hell is this guy? Okay, hello. Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. Are you good? All right. Don't yeah, yeah, go. On. Go on. I, I really couldn't give a shit. Right, we need to get in and help them. Because if we can get these taken out as quickly as possible, then we can start looking at the archers. So that archer there just got us. And the longer we stand out here, the more the frost spike's going to get to us. Which is, of course, a big issue. Because it just absolutely eats away our health. Right, that's one down. Lydia's doing alright. Not amazing, but not terrible. Oh, for God's sake, no, no. Go away. Um, ghost. Is he on our side? He's fight. He's fighting with us now. That's fine. All right, cool. The hunter's helping. <laughs> All right, and come on, Sunder. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right, and we've got one left out here, I think. Okay, he's almost dead. There we go, he's dead, right. And who is the hunter fighting? The hunter's fighting this one over here. Oh no, let's not do that, because... It'll aggro our ghost, probably. Or at least piss him off. Alright, we've aggroed another bunch of them by the look of it. There we go, alright. Yeah, I'm guessing Lydia's in there fighting against that lot. All right, let's see. Can we double elemental bolt and use our power? That really doesn't seem to be doing what, does it? Doesn't seem to be doing as much as I'd want it to anyway. But that's fine. I mean, we're not exactly spec for uh, being a destruction mage, but getting a little bit of damage in there is nice. Oh, hello. All right, let's get Ghost and let's get our weapon back. I have a feeling our Ghost is gone. Yep. All right, apparently we failed that, but I don't think it's actually physically possible, so... Alright, go on. And the hunter is actually proving really helpful. Let's finish this one off. Come on, and then, then these two can go after... Alright, we're starting to freeze. This is a problem. We can loot all these bodies later. For now, it's just a question of we really need to... Really need to finish this fight. Come on, ghosty. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Good ghosty. Me and Ghosty can take this guy. You'd think with the ability to pour fire from my hands, I shouldn't be able to get frostbite, but... Is that it? Thank you, Hunter. Here. Come here, dude. I'll give you your thing back. Alright, fine. Alright, cool. Okay, we're gonna go in now. Because we're freezing to death out here. Okay, the air is warm, and there we go. We waited for an hour, and we got all our health back. We're still not doing great on the Magicka department, but I think I'd like to carry a torch at some point. Yep, I'm here. Me and Ghosty are here. Go, Ghosty, go! Go, Lydia. All right, uh, let's take off. God. Actually, the mage should have less health. Yeah, we can actually do more damage to the mage, so let's take him out. The Thalmor equipment is just gorgeous, though. It's my favourite non armor piece of equipment. Oh, he's still alive. No, you're not. You're not surviving that easily, no.
Nice. All right, let's have a quick look around to see what we've got. We've got a chest, scaled helms, gold, and we've got the North Watch Mage. Ah, oh, Soul Gem, good. And look at that, weight five, value 400, that's good. Everything else can be left behind. Elf, elven armor, weighs basically nothing and is worth a decent amount. Adventurer's backpack with, oh, all these backpacks, yes. Oh, were, were those enchanted? No, all right. Okay, let's continue on then. Bye bye, Ghosty. You'll be back in a minute, don't worry. Alright. So, I'm gonna guess we've got another batch of them down here, maybe? No? Okay. Woodcutter's axe. This is starting to look more like a Nord Ruin. I suppose it is kind of a Nord Ruin, isn't it? These uh, forts. Go! <laughs> oh god, there's more of them. Alright, fine, we'll just let, we'll let Ghosty see what, how he's doing. <laughs> Alright, no, let's maybe help Ghosty out a little bit. We'll take out the archer, I think he's got the, the lowest armor and health and stuff of them all. So. Alright, we've almost got the archer. The archer's fighting us now, so that's fine. Okay, and we've got two guards left. Oh, Lydia does the damage. This really is the story of Lydia and her ghost friend. <laughs> and the idiot who bosses her around. But doesn't do anything. So close, so close. And the ghost is down. Alright, let's replace him. There we go. And we've got one left. 3v1 now, mate. This is the point where you should really be thinking about surrendering. Okay, uh, a couple more hits. We've got no black soul gems, so there's no point in trying to soul cast soul trap him. There we go. Alright. So the elven shield actually weighs a lot and isn't very valuable. So we'll, we'll take all their armor, basically. Um... Uh, I'll take the sword for now. I can get rid of it if it starts being too heavy. Again, the armor seems to have the best weight to value ratio. Salt, yay! Okay, so we found their little their little kitchen, which is cute. I like. There's a flute on the table. It's very atmospheric. I will say that. With a sword on the wall, ironically, not an elven sword. We're gonna cast that there, and then we're gonna move back. No, no, no! Fight Lydia, dude! Fight Lydia! I'm running away. There we go. <laughs> I don't want to. The archers, maybe I can fight one on one. The guards, I don't think so. See how little damage we do to them. Alright, but our ghost is probably in there doing quite a bit of damage by himself, so that's fine. And it doesn't matter if he dies. By the time they get rid of him, I'll have got enough magic to replace him. I'm really sorry about that, Lydia. Alright, let's go. Like, he's still going. We've got an archer. We'll take out the archer. And then there's a wizard. Oh, he's got a golem. All right, we'll resummon the uh, the zombie, the zombie, the ghost. So it's got more time on it. Frost Atronarch. Uh, Frost Atronarch's a bit too strong for us, definitely. There we go, it's gone. Oh, Lydia put an arrow into this dude's head. Brutal. Okay, so let's carefully. No, let's get out. let's get back. Let's let these guys do it. Because there's a wizard and an archer up there shooting down on us. 
So we want to push up with our friends. There we go, that guard's almost dead. Come on, kill that guard. Finish it off. Alright, should we go? Should we finish it off? There we go. See, watch watch him. Watch him. See, he's now shooting at us. Right, there we go. He's focusing on the ghost, so we can come up now and help the ghost out by killing the mage. Oh god, our ghost is down. Our ghost is down. Some of the ghosts, some of the ghosts, some of the ghosts. Bring it out. Alright, and then a bit of healing. Alright, and then we'll attack the guard because he's down lower down the stairs simply because he's easier to hit for the position we're in. Alright, guard is dead. Mage is not dead. And I'm almost dead. Mage is almost dead though. Mage is dead. There we go. And we got the cap. Oh, this was the captain. So, captain's key, found more robes. Oh, sorry. Didn't realize you were the captain. I was just calling you a mage. That's very rude of me. Right, let's drop that sword. There we go. And let's keep going. Got one archer left. I think that might then be it. I am going to heal Lydia while they fight, just so that I can get a bit of restoration experience. God, I, I might replace her just because of how many times she asks about the priest. It's actually quite irritating. Alright, there we go. And there we go. Finish off the archer. Some armor. There we go. Okay, so what's on the wall? Is it just regular steel equipment? Yeah, it's not nothing special. Alright. Is that it? Is that it? Did we kill them all? Search the chest, some gold, uh, we'll leave the ingot. Any other people to kill? I mean, if that was the captain, you'd assume that there might be more. I think that that's wrong. Okay, no, just a prison area. with a lot of prisoners. All right, no, I think that's it. I think we've killed them all. So we can now go and rescue Thorold. Of course, we'll search this place for salt first because salt is our most important. Oh, no, there's another one. There's an interrogator, so this is the torturer. And he's quite strong. Let's, let's get him. Even though I'm not really sure I'm on the Stormcloak side, I'm definitely anti-torturous. No, you won't. There we go, he's almost down. There we go. Okay, what have you got? Common soul gem, keep key, flower, robes, gold. Alright, cool. And Lydia, I have a lot of stuff for you to carry. How can I serve you, my Oh, elven armor, elven boots, boots of frost, gauntlets, helmets, backpack, Thalma robes, backpack, helmet, backpack. <laughs> so much feet to carry. All right, and then that should mean we'll be able to loot the other um, elves once we get out of this place. Hello. You there? What are you doing? I am here to rescue you. Da -da -da -da. I never thought I'd see another friendly face again. We need to get to safety as soon as possible. Let's move. I like how completely trusting he is of a high elf who rescued him. Like, surely this could just be an elaborate plot. Right, let's get him to safety though. Ooh, here's the dungeon, end of dungeon chest. Amethyst, gold, silver necklace, and an elven battle axe of diminishing, nice. So that's a new enchantment for us, I think. Let's see, so, search through here, come through here, and I'm gonna guess we can, oh god, these are master, all right. All right, should we see, is she alive? Should we, should we see if we can open a master lockpick with our 90 lockpicks? Let's see. All 
Oh, we're very close. There we go. Oh, that's going to give us some XP, isn't it? Leave me alone. Dude, I'm I'm rescuing you. Come on. Leave me alone. You don't want to be re rescued? All right. Well, we're going to see if we can pick these for a bit of XP. If it doesn't waste all of our lock picks, which it might. There we go. Oh, I'm quite proud of that if you don't mind me saying so. Uh, okay, that one was less impressive. I don't know where this one is. Uh, I'm not feeling this one, I was feeling the other ones. It's around there somewhere, okay. Alright, I went the wrong way. So it's around here? No? Oh god. What the heck? There we go. And what about you, Mr. Argonian? What are you looking at? Dude, I'm trying to free you. I mean, I'm not. I'm, I'm trying to increase my uh, my lot picking skill. <laughs> but I am freeing you in the process, so maybe you could be like a tiny bit grateful. All right. As long as we come out of here with like a decent number of lot picks, still, then that's that's absolutely fine. It's not the end of the world. Um, leveling it up is good. So. Because, you know, we're already over-leveled with a lot of stupid stuff, so let's add lockpicking to it as well. So that we can even be even less effective in combat, because this character is really badly leveled. If you are playing Skyrim and you are wanting to optimize it, do not level like I've leveled. Okay, and... There we go! Are you going to be rude as well? I've got to get out of here. Yeah, I'm letting you out. Oh, Jesus Christ, I give up. What's the hurry? The fact that you're putting me in prison, Lydia. Move. All right, we're out of here. We we got all the uh, uh, lock picking done. Yeah. Uh, empty wine balls. There's nothing more we're getting out of this place, is there? I don't think so. And there is the end of the dungeon. We're out and we're safe, so let's speak to Thorold. I cannot thank you enough for rescuing me from this place. I suspect I'd never again see the light of day otherwise. But why would you risk your life for me, a stranger? Your family was concerned for you. Of course. I should have known. This was all Abelstein's idea, wasn't it? Where is he? I told him to wait in Whiterun. A wise decision, but I fear he may not be safe there anymore. They'll go looking for me and Whiterun will be the first place they search. I cannot stay. Not here. Not in Whiterun. It likely won't be safe for Avelstein either. Our best hope now is to fall in with the ranks of the Stormcloaks. But would you do me a favor? Tell my mother to suffer the winter's cold wind, for it bears aloft next summer's seeds. She'll know what it means. Okay. I thank you again, friend. You've given me my life back. No problem. Right, let's loot the... Uh elven bodies around here for their armor and then make the long trek back to oh hello potion to solitude i think will be the easiest place to get to from here should be a bunch of elves outside yeah there's one and we're gonna make a nice amount of money from all this armor Which is, of course, the real reason we helped. Okay, we're carrying too much to be able to run. Let's drop the war axe. Uh, there we go. And we'll pick up this guy's <clears throat> armor. 
but not his shield. There we go. Okay, so that's basically everything we can carry. It's now time to try and get to the nearest city, which is yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be solitude, isn't it? We're gonna have to go back to solitude. All right, no problem. Let's begin the journey back. And here we are back in White Run. We've got all our loot to sell. Let's wait a couple of hours for all the shops to open. There we go. Is she open yet? Got some good. Yep. The finest weapons. So let's sell this elven armor to her. Oh, we don't actually have it in our inventory, do we? We give it to. Uh... Oh no, we do. We've got some. All right. So six elven armor, six boots, six gauntlets, six helmets, and a shield. More or less clears her out. And take her iron ore. Don't forget to check inside the shop. And then, yep, we're gonna go inside the shop now. Thank you. Actually, no, we're not. It's locked. We're gonna wait one more hour. A few seconds for my supper is all I ask. Um. There we go. And then we'll take the stuff Lydia's carrying and right we'll sell it you. to him. All right. What is it? Still need me to do something? Uh, no. I, I need to. Uh, no. All right. Anything. Let's right give me the stuff that I you've got. Sworn to carry your oh, quit whinging. Okay, and... There we go. Alright, so hopefully we're going to be able to sell enough of this to be able to walk again. Welcome to war. Take a look. Um, I'd like you to buy... Yep, one pickaxe. Iron arrows. Oh, he'll he'll buy these. That's good. I don't think we've got that enchantment yet, so we'll keep that. All right, and now have you got some iron ore? Yep. And the helmet? Nope, still too much. All right, can we run? No, we can't. Okay, so can we give her the fishing rod and the pickaxe back? And we still can't run, okay. Um, we'll give her the dragon stuff then. We'll have to remember to drop that off in our house What's as soon as we now? can. Alright, let's go and sell some of the other junk and then we'll go and meet her. Oh no, she's there. Oh, Alright, perfect. That works out really well. So we'll sell some crap to Belathor and then we'll go and hand our quest in. Trinkets, odds and ends. That's okay, Bellathor. Yep, you can have that book. Nope. You can have two of the Thalmor robes. Because I want one. You can have the elven helmets, actually, yeah. And you can have these potions, and you can't have the scroll, because you don't have enough money. Do you have any... Okay, I'll take that, yeah. And... Then you can have some of this stuff. Some of this this random crap that I've got. A little wooden ladle. <laughs> Alright, brilliant. So let's go and give her the quest. Let's tell her the good news about her son. Shame we can't tell the brother that he's a prick. Please tell me you have news of my son. Thorold is safe. Is he? You've saved him? Oh, I must see him at once. I'm afraid he's not here. He didn't think it was safe to return. What? After all this, I can't even see him? How? How do I know you're telling me the truth and not just what I want to hear? Ah, uh, clever woman. He said to tell you to suffer the wind, the winter's cold wind. For it bears aloft next summer's seeds. That's my boy. Good. So it's true then. For now, it's enough to know that he's alive. I can find peace in that. Thank you, dear friend. You've given me back my son. I'd had Jorland forge this for Thorald. It was to be a present for his return. I suppose he can't have it now. Why don't you take it? We can always make another for the day when this war ends and Thorald can come home. Steel Warhammer of Fear. Have you heard from Thorold? No, nor do I. 
It's enough for me to know she's Aww. out there somewhere. Honestly, that's sweet. Like that's really nice. After doing the Sadia mission, the uh, in my time of need, and feeling a bit conflicted about the results of that, that's that's nice. That's uplifting. It doesn't matter whether you're Stormcloak or Imperial. It's nice to help that woman find some closure. And it's nice to free her son from the tortured dungeons of the High Elves. I don't think anyone deserves that. Okay, but that is everything for today. I think that is the last proper quest to do in Whiterun. Thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.